Hey guys, we'll have a look at Shav Datuashvili's incredible performance at the Paris Grand Slam, taking gold of course. We're skipping the first two rounds because it wasn't too interesting, winning by Shido. We'll have a look at the entire final against Kargnine, and we'll also have a look at his two losses against Kargnine because he kind of revenged those, which is pretty interesting. But have a look at this here, I mean he almost, almost got Hans Hokomaket here. I don't think that was an intentional attack on the elbow, so fair call I think to, to not give him Hans Hokomaket there. Shafda Tochvili, he is a legend in the making. Just watching, just watching these clips today from the Paris Grand Slam, I've been thinking about it, but I don't think he really looks for certain techniques. I think he just kind of looks where people are off balance and just goes with it, because some of his techniques just kind of look like he just makes them up on the go. Like he's got really weird entrances and sequences and kind of shapes, if that makes sense, of how his techniques look. But, I mean, he's so good at the game. His defense is incredible. I mean, look at this. And turns that into an Ochigari. I mean, that's just incredible, right? Let's have a look at this again. Looking for a left side attack here. That's pretty common from the Georgians. But yeah, he just goes with it. I don't think he, he's too worried about his, his grips. Semi-final now against Kang. And I think Kang just kind of got overwhelmed in this contest. Shav Datosh really was being very aggressive. Kang did well to kind of escape this, but still ended up being a Wazari. And you can see here, I mean, Shavda Toshvili, he's just kind of making things up. He's looking at where people are off balance, trying to take them in that direction. And I kind of wonder what's going on in his head. Like, when I do judo, I kind of think, okay, I'm going to go for this now. I'm going to go for this technique. I think a lot of the Japanese guys do, like Maruyama. I think he kind of feels the, the Uchimata coming and, and he goes for it, but... Shaft out to us, really, I, I think he might just kind of flow with it and not really think about what technique he's going to do because you can never really see the same kind of entries or shapes of techniques. Every, everything kind of looks slightly different every time he does it. He's definitely a genius in, in that way and just how he approaches the game. So we're going back in time a little bit here. This is one of his losses to Karg9 at the, the World Championships. Kagnai gets a Wazari here with the Orsul Pugari. And Kagnai, he's a great judoka as well. Also aggressive, so I think he's kind of meeting that ferocity, that kind of pace. Caught him here with the Kochi Makikomi. And then caught him again in the opposite direction with a Seo Inage. So this was at the Masters. So we're back to the Paris Grand Slam, and this is the final. Kagnai versus Shavdat Tuashvili again. So we'll have a look. At the match in its entirety, Kagnine starting out aggressive first. And this was a, a relatively short contest, didn't go to golden score. Shout out to us, really gets a nice Epon later on, I'm sure you already know. But just to see the, the different approach this time, he's got to worry about the Osoto, he's got to worry about the Kochi Makikomi, and he's got to worry about the Seoinage. Taking a strong sleeve grip. Defends that well. Nice tap on the side. Always a nice guy. Shaft out Tosh really. Even when, I mean, he's lost twice. Lost twice to Karg9. Looking for a big hand over the top. Reset. So as I was saying before, Karg9 kind of beating Shaft out Tosh really in the aggression in the last two previous contests, but... Controlling the sleeve kind of slows that down a bit. And then he took the sleeve grip off and went over the top. And that's a, a brilliant, brilliant Epon. And I think Kargnan can't believe it. To lose like that, that's got to be disappointing. So we'll just go back to those losses briefly, but watch the sleeve grip of Shaft up twice really in these contests. He doesn't have it. So he gets thrown by also the Betty here. Didn't have a sleeve grip. And here's the two Wazaris at the Masters. Looking for the sleeve grip, doesn't get it. Karg9 moves, goes for the Kochi Makikomi. And the same here for the Seo Inage, no sleeve grip. Gets thrown. So, Shavda Tosh really made a very good tactical decision there. Dominating the sleeve and then going in for his technique. Brilliant stuff. And what do you guys think? I definitely think Shavda Tosh really, maestro of judo. Just someone we should look up to, a legend on the mats right now. 
And it's going to be a sad day when he retires because he is incredible. All right, guys, peace out. I'll see you guys for more action at the Paris Grand Slam. Stay tuned. Peace.